Here is a static grass applicator that you can make very inexpensively, less than $20, and you can make it in less than a half hour. It consists of an electric box containing an anion generator, a discarded transformer from an old appliance, and a vegetable strainer. Very easy to make, you don't even have to solder. Hang on and we'll take you through the process of making this right now. The heart of a static grass applicator is the ion generator. Don't waste your time with these fly swatters. They are very ineffective. This is a 15 kilovolt DC output. It makes the grass stand up and stand up well. If you're going to make a static grass applicator, do it right. Now the other parts you'll need, an electric box, a switch, any old switch will do. This is a used one I had lying around. Some banana clips makes it easy to attach your power supply and your applicator itself. Moving on, we'll need some solderless connectors. Any type will do. The first thing to do is drill some holes and install the banana clips and the switch. You can do it. No need to watch me playing with the drill. Alright, now it's just a matter of uh, attaching the solderless connectors to the wires. You only hook up three. Don't hook up a connector to the red wire. That will go directly to the switch. I would point out that the configuration of this static grass applicator is quite versatile. You buy the commercial units, they are really blocky. They're heavy, they're difficult to handle, and they are very difficult to use if you have to get into a tight spot. When you make this, the output side can be attached to any form applicator. You can go down as small as a T-strainer. And even uh, if you come to my site, I'll show you some smaller units. There's so much more you can do when you work with a configuration where you have a central control unit and then you have control over the working engine. Now let's hook up some wires. As you watch me fumble along here, hooking up the wires, let me make a couple comments. Notice that the output side banana clips are wider apart than the input side banana clips. When I'm using the static grass applicator, it's just a visual indication to me which is the input side, which is the output side. I don't need any labels. Additionally, even though the output on this unit is minus 15 kVDC, I use red wire and red tape on anything on the output side, the minus 15 kilovolt DC. 15 kilovolts means 15,000 volts. That bites. You touch it, you know you've been touched. You, you can live through it. Caution though, anyone with a pacemaker or health issues, please be careful with one of these. You may not want to use them any static grass applicator at all. We have to hook the switch up. Now, this is a very small wire we have that is with a solderless connector. The switch that I'm using, again, is solderless. It's a matter of hooking that little wire or putting a little hole and screwing it down. So now for the final cuts, we'll just hook the switch up little nice and easy. As soon as we have this, this switch hook hooked up, we're essentially done. We, we, all we have to do is turn the unit over and attach the top of the electric box to the bottom of the electric box. We'll get on with doing that right now. As we put this together, you'll see how easy it is to recognize which is the input side and which is the output side. I use a unit like this with the anion ge generator separate. I can power this by hooking it to the track 
to a power pack or to a transformer. Pick up any old transformer and a 12 volt is best. This unit will operate at less than 12 volts. Uh, the output will be lower than 12, uh, 15 kilovolts, but at 12 volts you get minus 15 kV output. And notice how easy it is to hook up. The negative is the negative side is just a ground wire. I use a paper clip instead of a nail. A paper clip is easier for me. Uh, there are many applications where a nail is inconvenient. Then as far as your applicator itself, you can use a, a, a vegetable strainer. Use a mason jar with some screen put into the top. I have another video showing the different applicators. Come to our site and I have a, a complete uh, bit of information on that. Now here it is in operation. You know that not all static grass operates the same. This is a very difficult grass to apply. It just doesn't come through the strainer. I show you this, how easy it is to make a grass tuft even with some of that very difficult to use static grass. That's a solid grass tuft, everything's standing up. You don't have to use a vacuum cleaner to make the stuff stand up. I hope this has been informative. Go ahead and download the information with full instructions on how to make this. And I have more videos and more information on using this to make grass tufts, to make wire trees using static grass makes a great effect on, on, on those trees. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe and I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up if you like it. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you somehow. Thank you. Have a good day.